Alrighty, GS Pro fans, we got another one for you today. This is Coyote Preserve. Uh, very nice course, fairly new, maybe month of January coming out. Uh, we're playing the white tees here. Starts off with a par five. Very interesting uh, course layout. We got a lot of like undulations and a lot of uh, snake-like fairways. It was uh, a tough course. I played very very bad the first time I went around and uh, I will show you that scorecard at the end if you're interested in how bad I can play um, I will the score I'll show you the first time around which was like an outrageously bad round uh, this one is a little better you'll see uh, a couple good shots here and there starting with a pretty good approach there on one just ends up a little short I mean, a little long. We have some swampy like uh, areas, and you sometimes if you hit it into those reeds, that's actually water as well. So just to be aware if you play around this track, uh, there's a little bit of that going on. A good drive there. Left side of the fairway. Not really the side you want to be on with uh, all these bunkers in your way, but trying to find. A good distance and checking up right inside the gimme circle for a birdie. That's the way you want to start. Dog leg right, par four third. And another okay drive. So starting off okay with the drives. Uh, if you follow the channel, I've been working on getting the driver spin down. We are now using the RCT balls on the Garmin and able to kind of track those spin rates a little better. And what it's unveiled is that uh, I hit my driver really spinny, and I'm losing a lot of distance because of it, certainly on the simulator. Tough little short chip that ends up very nice. And the minus one score remains as we go to the fourth hole. And again, I just really like the layout. This hole in particular, you got like one type of trees doing the boundary. You have another type of pine tree doing the kind of fence line, if you will. We have water in front. Just a really liked Coyote Preserve. It was one of the ones that, because I played so poorly the first time, I wanted to play again so I could get something on the channel that's uh, worth watching. Just outside the par circle there, I thought that was a good shot, but it ends up being a bogey. And we're moving on to the next hole, framed very well as, as well, kind of an up and down. Uh, go up for the tee shot, and then you're going to come down the hill over some water for the second. One, about 150 playing. Headed straight at it, and it is just way too long. Unfortunate there, but missed the bunker. So it's going to be over the bunker shot, and I just <laughs> fluffed it. Didn't give it enough, and now trying to get it out of the bunker. Stay, and it stays. Avoiding a big number there, but a bogey nonetheless. And all of a sudden at plus one. Going to the sixth hole. Playing a draw off the water. And a very nice professional golf shot there. Another par five brings us a pretty, like, look at the landscape here. It goes down and then up a hill. And then uh, over to the right, and then over to the left, and uh, that's just, I think it's just more interesting to play. I know I've covered that on the channel a lot uh, when I review these types of things, but here's where you don't want to go on seven. Way over to the left, and then you don't want to do that either, miss hit it, and then try and get it again. And now we're hitting our fifth shot on a par five into a green. We have 32 remaining, and we're going to blow by it. So a quick double bogey uh, gets the score up to plus 
3 through 7, where we started out kind of throwing darts, made a few mistakes here in the later holes. Trying to hit a big sweeping draw in there and just kind of misclipped it, leaving a hole high, kind of 28-yard chip, and some good distance control there, able to get that in for a par. And we will go to the ninth, still at plus three. A very cool bridge to go over here. Spraying it way right. This might be out of bounds. Gonna have to get lucky. Oh, we are lucky. There might be a way to get out of here. Oh, I'll take that. Able to get out of trouble not out of bounds and then have a shot in from 114 to save par it's gonna be close oh my god just a yard off frustrating for the score in the game it clicks over to plus four but if we're doing that in real life and we're putting it uh 13 feet low side and to the right uh, we're gonna be okay there's my dream guys if i can get 1900 spin every time 1900 spin 150 ball speed it can happen I will make it happen seeing another good shot here not rewarded with a birdie even though it's trying to get there but hole high just right of the pin putting for birdie we're going to take that every time a wide open par four all of a sudden we've had trees kind of everywhere they're still out of bounds over here on the right i don't know what i'm doing ended up in the brush and then trying to oh just really didn't hit that good took the spin completely off of it just knuckled it out there still have 50 yards to go That's a good par save. 11th hole over with, 12th hole upcoming, still at plus four. There's a par three. We got my house over there on the right. That was meant to be a fade. It's trying to come back. Distance was good. And again, watching this back, I'm thinking the irons are, are fine. They're even if these aren't birdies, these are really close to the birdie circle and they're like the big side of the green. There we finally get some ball speed, but it jumps the spin up. So we go 144 to 4200. And I want 144 and 2000. That's the goal. 142 remaining since we're talking about 140s. It's on the way. It looks maybe too big. Yeah, it's a little far. And it rolls back into the par circle at least. And we're able to save par on 13 and head over to 14 where we got to carry some water. About 160 to this pin. Yeah, these are coming off just like dead straight. And another hole high professional shot. Oh, like it's going to make me chip this. I'm upset. I hit it too far. That's not my fault. That should have been a par. It was on the green. And then I screwed a chip up. That was my fault. Plus 5 going to 15. Let's finish strong here. 15, 16, 17, and 18. That's not the start you want. Slicey McGee into the trees. A good bounce though. And a good roll. And a good roll. And we actually have a shot into the green, maybe. Uh, just trying to cut through that tree window. Clipping a branch. Getting down in the rough, 30 yards away. Now trying to save par. Ooh, give it a run. And just outside the circle, that's going to be another bogey. So you can see how easy it would be to uh, shoot a high score on this course. There's a lot of things to... Uh, kind of worry about 
and a lot of things that you can get hung up in. There's like best drive of the day. I'll have to review this round um, and see what was different about these driver swings because they are the numbers I want and some of them are quite straight. Bad contact there on the layup, but it's going to be fine. Gets a good roll down the hill a little bit, and we are going to be hitting a 115-yarder. Tried to hit a big draw right at it. And I, again, I can't be mad at that. We were, we were a yard away from five birdies today. 17th hole is a tough one. Straight down. 176 over water and I towed it completely it would have been nice to see that one just kind of fly right at the pin and continue on with our little hole high stopping of uh, great iron shots but not happening that one also not getting there it's going to be a big number here on 17 Double bogey. Not what you want, but we're going to try and finish 18 here. Let's see what happens. Not a good drive again. Looks almost like there's no follow through on the ones that get spinny. I'm leaving the face open and, uh, and open to target. Because this is a par 5 though, went ahead and went for it. And maybe the most unlucky part of the day. Outside the circle for an automatic 3 putt par. And we end up at plus 8. Could have eagled or birdied that maybe. But started off hot. And here's the score from the first try. A 91, guys. With a, I had to take a 10 to just get out of the hole uh, on, on 8. So... Kind of a tough course. I thought I played it much better and still shot a plus eight. So um, let me know what you've shot and make sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more GS Pro courses coming up.